Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo with the full crown preparation design on tooth number 30. Um, we've uh, discussed earlier the um, facial plane or the, the uh, tooth preparation is divided up into three planes. And we did demonstrate um, both the uh, occlusal reduction as well as the uh, vertical reduction, keeping in mind to stay parallel with the long axis of the tooth and allow the burr to shape and give the angulation that's necessary for the path of insertion or the path of withdrawal. So if we look straight down at our tooth preparation and compare it with that of the unprepped tooth, we can see now that there's a huge diameter difference, number one, number two, is that we want to substitute basically what's missing now for plastic or then for porcelain uh, to make the final permanent crown. So distribution of, of work or distribution of forces are important that, um, that we have an even, in, even thickness uh, throughout and tapered near the margin, of course. So uh, let's, let's talk about the prep. The preparation now has a full margin, a chamfer margin that's half the diameter of the tip of the burr and that goes all the way around and it's got a nice sloping design to it. The preparation itself at, at the middle portion starts to taper in and then toward the occlusal it starts to roll uh, in and that's important because the amount of reduction has to increase toward the chewing surface for strength of your restoration. The lingual is the same, it rolls in, it has a nice roll in, it does not, not sharp roll but it's more of an S contour as we discussed earlier. So we'll blow that up and take a close look and from the cusp height all the way to the margin. So it looks like an S. Um, the occlusal reduction of course the uh, central groove area is all uniform and also we followed the the grooves of the tooth and to try to stay with that consistency and keeping more of the occlusal rolling as well uh, for its reduction. So we're allowing uh, even thickness for the final restoration. Let's take a look at now on the typodont how this tooth looks and also check what we call the occlusal clearance and we're going to do that with a clearance tab which is green. You'll have that in your kit. So place your tooth in your typodont, close it all the way down I'm going to raise the microscope up so we can see this a little better from the side. And here's my occlusal reduction. Now this should be able to come out. Of course, after you screw this back in, it should be able to pull out very freely. This is exactly 1.5 millimeters thickness. Looks like we've got lots of room in there to make our crown now. And, um, and our margin is either at the gum line or a little bit above it. And that's what you want to do. So why is that important? Well, it makes impression taken a lot easier. When we go to take an impression, we want to be able to see our margin and duplicate that in the laboratory uh, segment, which is next. All right, so this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo uh, with the final tooth preparation now uh, finished. And uh, I can tell you one more little tip uh, that a dental student, a pre-dental student, has given me. And that is, he put his machine at the end, uh, up around six to eight, and he just literally just feathered the surface of the tooth. So when the burr was going around at a high speed, he was just literally just uh, lightly polishing the surface. So um, I won't demonstrate that here, but you can do that, not to gouge into your, your nice prep, just to paint, literally paint and smooth. Other things you can do um, is to take a rubber uh, point or a rubber wheel and you can actually polish it some more, but I don't recommend that. I think that's uh, really not necessary at this point. All right, and uh, again, uh, this is the final look of the crown, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to, to contact me. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo with the final uh, look at the crown preparation on tooth number 30 for introduction to dentistry. Take care.